Football games were moved to tonight because of Ian. In this week's Kicking It with the Coaches segment, we stop in Elmore County where they've seen quite a turnaround. with the coaches this week at Elmore County High School with head coach Kyle Caldwell. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, tell us about taking the job here. I asked you before we got on camera. Uh, you looked at the record last year, 0-10. What led you to believe this is going to be a job you could take and turn this thing around? Uh, just the community and the, and the kids. Um, they, they've always had players here, and you just got to get them to believe in themselves and you got to get the community sport back behind them, and then they'll play. They'll do anything for you once you get that. Off to a four and one start, you got to be pretty pleased with the way things are going. Yeah, we're um, we're pleased, and I know the kids are excited, but they're they're still hungry. They don't want to just go forward and one. They just want to take the next step, and so um, have a good week of practice so far, and, and they're enjoying the process. As a player, you played at Dadeville High School, star quarterback, then played at University of West Alabama, had a great career there. Were you one of those dudes who would like be in class and scribbling up plays and drawing up plays? Uh, in high school, definitely. Um, not so much in college, um, just because we had so much free time between your classes. But uh, I've always loved football, and I actually didn't play organized football until I was in sixth grade. And so um, you don't necessarily have to start early in football to specialize. Was coaching something you knew you always wanted to do? Um, pretty much. Both my parents are teachers and coaches, and I knew I wanted to stay stay around the game at some point. Um, just you know, whether it's basketball or baseball, softball. I mean, my dad coached softball, and my mom was basketball, and so anything really involving a ball, I knew I wanted to be around. You've been assistant coach at several different schools for seven years. This is the first time being the head man. Talk about the difference as far as all the other things that go into being a head coach. That's a lot, isn't it? It is. Um, I have some really good assistant coaches, and so being able to delegate responsibilities to them, it takes a lot off my plate so I can focus a little bit more on the coaching side more than the administration side. This week is a big game. The game moved up due to possible weather. You guys are playing rival Tallahassee. What are your thoughts on this game, and what do you like about this year's team for you guys? Uh, they're a good team. Um, their record definitely does not reflect how good of a team they actually are. And they've been in three close games, and, and you know the ball hasn't went their way. Um, but they still have some really good players and uh, really good coaches. Um, for us, though, we just got to focus on ourselves. We just have to play our game, do our responsibility each play, and uh, you know, win the game Monday through Thursday. You mentioned this is a town and a, and a band that wants to get behind the program and, and, and do well. A lot of support here after a tough season last year. Things are going well. Describe kind of the, the feeling around town right now as you guys are off to such a good start. Oh, yeah. It's, it's I mean, just random people coming up to me after the game. That, you know, I don't even know who they are sometimes, but they're excited for the kids. Just they, they want the kids to do well, and they want the kids to succeed. And ju just the, the love and, and the energy around the town right now, um, around the football team and, and everybody else involved in the football team, it's wonderful to see. What's your message to the players now? You guys are coming up on a rivalry game and still a lot of work left to be done. Um, just don't be satisfied. Uh, I know they want to be better than four and one, and so don't don't get the satisfaction of just going four and one or five and one. You know why can't we take the next step? Why can't we be nine and one, or why can't we be ten and one and keep advancing in the playoffs? Off to an awesome start, Coach. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you joining us yes, on this week's Kicking It with the Coaches. Again, 0-10 last year at Elmore County High School after a great start, 4-1. They have that rivalry game against Tallahassee tonight because they moved it up a day because of possible storm issues. So that game we played tonight, Thursday night. And, of course, we'll have a lot of highlights. Lots of games were moved to Thursday night in our viewing area. So we'll have a lot more games tonight on the early edition of the FIBA, including that big rivalry game between Tallahassee and Elmore County.